Let's consider the following program. Here you can see I'm saying first number is assigned 1. Then I'm saying first number is assigned first number plus 1. Now we saw this particular type of statement in a previous video and it's a way of incrementing the content of a variable. So whatever's in first number has 1 added to it which will obviously in this case give the result of 2 and that 2 is then stored in the variable first number i.e. assigned to the variable first number. And then we're going to simply print out what's stored in the variable first number, what the value is in that particular variable. Now if we have a look at how this program executes one line at a time, if we see what happens when this particular program statement executes, Python will generate a variable and will give it the name first number and of course will assign one to that particular variable. We then go on to this program statement and the consequence of this statement is on this side we'll take the contents of first number, add it to 1 to give 2 and that 2 is then assigned to first number. So we can see that 2 will be loaded into the variable first number. Then we'll come on to this particular program statement here and what this will do is simply display what's stored in the variable first number. So we'll see this appearing and we can see that 2 will appear in this position. Let's have a look at the program again. Here you can see I'm saying first number is assigned 1. On the next line I'm saying first number is assigned first number plus 1. And then I'm asking the program to print out the content of first number. Let's have a look what will happen. Well this will execute first, then this line, and then this line here. And what we'll see when we run this particular program, exactly as it's shown here, is we'll get this output and we can see in this position we have 1. Now, what we were expecting this to be was 2. As a programmer, I was expecting to increment the contents of the variable first number. So what's happened here? Well, why is it 1? Well, it's quite simple really. If you look very carefully at the way in which I've typed in the program, you will see here that I've got a capital N and a lower case N. Now that is sufficient to make these, as far as Python is concerned, completely different program variables. So the fact that when I typed in I put a capital N by mistake, that wasn't my intention, what I've actually achieved is the production of two different variables and this is telling me that Python is a language that has case sensitivity. It means that if you type something in that is almost the same as a name as a variable but it's out by one position as it is here in the sense that the lowercase n has accidentally been typed in as the uppercase n then we have two completely different variables. So as a human being I might not have spotted that the Python language, however, does, because it sees things differently to us. You see, it sees ASCII codes, ANSI codes, and there's a different number for capital N than there is for lowercase n. So the very fact that Python doesn't have a pair of eyes like us, it represents these things differently internally. These are treated as completely different variables, even though to us they look the same. They're not actually because of that one position there being slightly different. To be clear as to what's happening here, let's have a look at the program again with the mistake of having the capital N there. So here we can see I've got the first and second statements and there's the third statement where I'm simply printing out the contents of first number. If we have a look at this particular line here, well what Python will do, it'll generate a variable it'll give that variable the name first number and of course it'll assign one to it. Then we'll go on to the next line which is this one here. Now on the right hand side we can see that we have first number plus one. Now that will obviously give us two. Now that two will be assigned to this variable here first number but this is a different variable. What Python will now do is generate that variable Give it the name first number, but note the capital N. Consequently, these two are two variables because this line here has 
resulted in us using a variable that already exists and because this is here it needs to generate another variable. The consequence is that the 2 that's worked out on this side is assigned to this variable here and we can see that 2 comes into this different variable. And then the next thing that happens we actually print first number and we have to be careful what we mean by this. What we mean is we're going to be printing the content of this variable which has 1 in. That was given 1 at this point here. This line it didn't make this particular variable 1 bigger. All this did is store the result of the addition here in this variable as we can see here. Consequently, when we execute the print statement, what will happen, we'll see 1 appearing because there was 1 stored in this variable. To help avoid the problems associated with case sensitivity, what I recommend we do is the following. Use the underscore as we've already seen, but in addition to this, make all variable identifiers lowercase. That's key. We should also note, however, that variable identifiers can just be one word long, in which case an underscore is not needed, but we should make them lowercase. For example, we could have this here, interest equals 1.8, where this could be the interest on a bank account or something like that. Now, we could also make interest all uppercase, and it would work providing we made it uppercase throughout the program. This is not the recommendation. Don't use capitals like this for variable names. Also, do not use mix case as you can see here. You see, with this example, everything is lowercase. With this one, it is all uppercase. And with this one, it is mix case. We have this I here being uppercase and the rest of the word being lowercase. So the recommendation is when you just have one word to represent the variable. Do not use uppercase, do not use mixed case, use this one here. And for those that are two words long or three words, make sure everything is lowercase and simply have an underscore between each word in the variable name. And that should then stop any errors creeping into your code as demonstrated by the simple example shown in this video. Check out the supporting website for these videos and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and you'll get an automatic update every time I upload a new video on Python.